Welcome back to the Crypto Wild channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and Bitcoin has just seen a perfect bounce from this exact level of support. And we are currently seeing a signal that we've only seen one other time this year. So do not miss out on that towards the end of this video. And just before we jump into it, you might as well leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. It's right here on the Bitcoin US dollar chart on the six hour time frame. And you can see that once again, we're still forming this Wyckoff accumulation that I have been talking about over the past two days. For any new viewers out there, this is the Wyckoff accumulation schematic number one, which basically, if you break it down, it's really just a five-stage bullish pattern or a five-stage reversal pattern. If you want any more detail into Wyckoff accumulation, make sure you check out my Bitcoin update video that I posted two days ago on the channel, because in that video, I included a deeper explanation into Wyckoff accumulation. But what you need to know is right now, the Bitcoin price on the six-hour time frame is strongly resembling Wyckoff accumulation, and we are currently in phase D. And as I mentioned in the intro of this video, Bitcoin saw a perfect bounce from this exact level of support. At the time of filming yesterday's update video, we were running into contact with that line. And then once again, the video before that, so two days ago now, I'll let you know that that is gonna be an important line of support for Bitcoin to hold. And by the way, that line of support is coming in at approximately 49.7K. So the fact that Bitcoin is still forming higher lows in the shorter term, and more importantly, the Bitcoin price is remaining above this first automatic reaction that we saw back in phase. A, as you can see, that falls in line with the Wyckoff accumulation schematic number one. All we need to do now to complete phase D and head into phase E, which is the reversal back to the upside, is basically break above the highest point that we saw during phase B. So that would be this point right here coming in at approximately 52,000, give or take. So as of right now, at the time from this video, it is just a waiting game to wait and see if we can break above 52K. But if Bitcoin can break above 52K, then that is extremely bullish and it would be very likely we'll be heading into phase E at that stage, especially if we can flip it into support as the Wyckoff accumulation schematic suggests. And a situation like that will fast track the recovery back to the upside and potentially towards all time highs within a couple months. Another bullish pattern for Bitcoin is this bump and run reversal pattern on the daily timeframe. We've been talking about this exact pattern on the channel for around two weeks now, even when we were sitting in extreme fear and everyone in the market was looking at lower prices. I was reassuring you that that bearish price action is only temporary and that more gains are only just around the corner. And so now that Bitcoin is playing out those gains that we we're talking about, that has resulted in Bitcoin breaking above this line of resistance coming in at approximately 49 and a half thousand. But with that being said, right now, the volume is still declining, which is not really good to see on a breakout to the upside. In an ideal situation, when we're breaking above resistance, we need to see the volume increasing or a spike in volume, or at the very least, the volume remains the same. But in a situation like this, where we have the volume declining, that does mean that there's technically a little bit more risk of unpredictable price action meaning that it does become more possible for Bitcoin to throw back to the downside on much lower volume. But with that being said, one thing to keep in mind is the fact that we are seeing low volume due to the holiday season and the fact that no one's really trading at this time. So really in the best case scenario, we need to see Bitcoin remain above these importance levels just here that I mentioned up until the new year when people start going back to work and traders start trading Bitcoin again, and that will increase the volume. But I mentioned in yesterday's Bitcoin update video that we can look at this bump and run reversal pattern from another perspective. We could draw this line of resistance from this point just here sitting at around 61,000 approximately. And so when you're drawing the bump and run reversal pattern like this, the line of resistance is coming in at approximately 53,000 give or take, which is the level that Bitcoin needs to break above in order to hit the price target, which is the beginning of the lead in phase, which is sitting at around 60 to 61,000. But remember on this first bump and run reversal pattern that I have been talking about for two weeks now, the technical price target for this pattern is once again, at the beginning of the lead in phase. But in this case, it's sitting at the all time high at approximately 69,000. But something else that I mentioned in yesterday's Bitcoin update video is how this redrawn bump and run reversal pattern strongly respects the Fibonacci retracement tool. First of all, we have that 38.2% Fibonacci level coming in at just above 53,000, extremely close to that descending line of resistance. And then after Bitcoin can see a strong break above 53K, the next really important Fibonacci level to the upside is the golden pocket coming in at around 60,000 US dollars, very close to the technical price target for this pattern. So those are two really important levels of resistance as Bitcoin continues to climb higher in this recovery. Now getting into this Bitcoin signal that we've only seen one other time this year. And that is of course a bullish divergence, but not just any bullish divergence, a bullish divergence on the daily time frame. If you're zooming out on the chart, this is all of the price action that we've seen over 2021. And out of all of these pullbacks, out of all of these crashes that we've seen throughout this year, if you're looking at the bottom of these pullbacks, apart from right now, we have only seen a daily bullish divergence one other time this year. 
and that was during the middle of this year after the May crash. For any of the beginners out there, a bullish divergence basically means we are due to see reduced selling pressure, which either means more sideways price action or perhaps a move back to the upside. And that's exactly what we have been experiencing recently. So the fact that the price oscillators talking about the RSI and the MACD are now trending back to the upside on the daily timeframe, this is really bullish for Bitcoin and normally marks the bottom for a pullback. Now, one thing to mention is, of course, the last time that we saw a daily bullish divergence during the middle of this year was the fact that the recovery didn't actually start immediately after seeing that bullish divergence. We still saw a lot more sideways price action in the Bitcoin price. But if you're looking at the bottom of these weeks, Bitcoin basically held those lows throughout this entire time period just here. And whether you accumulated Bitcoin during June or during July, either way, that entire time period was a great time to accumulate Bitcoin if you're holding for the next few months. So right now, I am using the same strategy because of course, if you were on the channel back then, I was actually telling you that I was going very heavy into Bitcoin at that stage and holding for the next few months. And obviously that worked out very well. And right now I'm basically doing the exact same thing. I am simply dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin and holding for at least the next couple months. Now that does not mean that we're only going to see bullish price action because once again, looking at this previous price action, it's still not impossible for us to experience a little bit more bearish price action in the shorter term. But if you're talking about the general trend over the next couple months, personally, I am leaning much more bullish than I am bearish over the next couple months. And once again, if we start breaking above prices like 52,000 to confirm this wipe of accumulation, that would fast track the recovery. And also if we can break above prices like 53,000, that would also continue to fast track the recovery. And on top of that, obviously, it is great to see that Bitcoin has seen a perfect bounce from the exact 55 week simple moving average, which is pretty much exactly where Bitcoin bottomed out at during July. But Bitcoin still needs to break back above the 20 week simple moving average currently coming in at just above 53,000, which is also where a massive cluster of volume in the VPVI indicator is beginning. But the biggest spike of volume to the upside in the VPVI indicator is coming in at approximately 56,000 to give or take. And then after Bitcoin can start breaking above 60,000 US dollars, which was that golden pocket, the volume in the VPVI indicator starts dropping off quite a lot. So after we can get above 60,000 at that stage, that is when Bitcoin can start seeing a lot more bullish price action coming into play. And if you're looking at levels of support in the VPVR indicator on the daily time frame, we've got this entire cluster of volume starting at around 50,000 and going all the way down towards the mid $40,000 price range. So looking at prices like 45 to 46,000. So in that entire price range, which is basically the same price range Bitcoin has been trading in over the past couple of weeks, we've got a massive amount of support there holding up the Bitcoin price. And something else I thought I should mention in this video is the fact that we've just seen a weekly candle close, obviously, because we've just started a new week. But the weekly candle close that we just saw was the highest Bitcoin weekly candle close that we've seen in an entire month, even before that flash crash that we saw around three weeks ago. So this is just another early sign on the Bitcoin charts showing us that Bitcoin is now making an attempt at flipping bullish here. And by the way, you'll notice that this channel has now been officially verified, which means anytime you see the crypto world channel name, you should see a verified check mark, which is going to be very useful in distinguishing my real comments away from the scam comments, because obviously there's a lot of scammers out there in the comment section that try and copy my profile. Believe me, I delete hundreds of those comments per day. But because YouTube doesn't have a delete bulk comments feature, I have to delete those scam comments one by one, which sometimes I simply cannot keep up with the massive amounts of scams. So once again, that is why this is really handy because only my official comments will have that verified tick next to my name. And by the way, if you want to get extra updates like this, make sure you follow me over on my official Twitter, which is the one linked in the description down below and also in the pinned comment. If you enjoyed this video or got something valuable out of it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that you do not miss out on any of these future updates that I post every single day. And before we click off, make sure you're checking out one of these uploads if you haven't already. I've got a Bybit tutorial video showing you how I place trades over on Bybit and I've got a passive income video showing you how I earn passive income every day on my crypto holdings. But that is it for this update. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.